Space Station 13 is a unique game with a ton of mechanics but a very steep learning curve. It is a multiplayer game and as a new player you barely have any options other than to join an RP server with strict rules or become overwhelmed by the very sudden events on a lower P server while you're trying to learn how to bake a cake. I'll try to be your guide into Space Station 13 mechanics by building a station almost from scratch and playing it as a solo sandbox game. Every episode will be dedicated to a particular mechanic of the game so that you can refer to particular topics, skipping those that you're already familiar with. We will cover some basic mechanics first, like crafting, cooking, fixing electricity and hull breaches, and dig into the most nerdy parts of the game, like xenobiology, chemistry, atmospherics and bob making a bit later. The game is very rich on mechanics, and even the people who code the game don't know everything about it, so even if you are an experienced player, you should find something interesting in this playthrough. Uh, the server is running on the October 2023 build of TG Station. Please note that mechanics may be different on other code bases or even on the same code base because the game is being updated constantly. Uh, please leave your questions or suggestions in between the episodes and I'll try to address them as the series go on. Welcome to the station crew. Enjoy your stay. So here we are. You are a security officer working on for Nern Tracen, stationed on board a state of an art research station. You vaguely recall rushing into a cryogenics pod due to an incoming radiation storm. The last thing you remember is the station artificial program telling you that you would only be asleep for eight hours. As you open your eyes, everything seems rusted and broken, and a dark feeling swells in your gut as you climb out of your pod. That's our pod. We need to work with a team, but I guess it's not true for us. We're the only person here. Uh, let's take a look around what we have here. So I assume that you already know the basics of the controls, so I will not cover every tiny detail of the controls. Let's just review the status and the UI a little bit. So it seems like we don't have any gra gravity because we have this weightless status. The gravity ceased affecting us and we're floating around aimlessly. We can uh, grab some items to move around. Uh, we can use a jetpack uh, for a free motion. Uh, mech boots will tie us to the ground. And I can even use the fire extinguisher uh, to propel myself following the Newtons through the law of motion. Our mood here we have been feeling great lately, nothing really to react to right now, so it's a neutral mood. Then our health, then our uh, health doll showing us every single body part and uh, the corresponding status of the part. It seems like everything is fine, we are at 100% health. Uh, there are some buttons to act, to throw something, to drop, rest, resist. Enable and disable combat mode, switch between running and walking and targeting. Also, there are some crafting and other buttons. We will take a look at those later. And what we have on us, there is a handicuffs because we are a security officer. I don't really need those for now. And there is a flash. Quite handy because the lights are out. Let's check, it, check what else do we have. There's our ID. We are the security officer on the Charlie station. And we have our uniform. It has some protection against melee, wounds, and biohazard even. And has a, a bit of a durability related to acid and fire. So it's quite nice set of uniform. And there are some boots that are jack boots that can even hold items. And right now there is nothing inside there. They also have some protection. Right, let's take a look what we have here. So there is some paper, cryo awakening report. I cannot read because it's too dark here. There is a winning machine that it is not working because lights are out. Some trash in the trash bin. Let's take a look at what else we have here. So there's a duffel bag. We can take a look at what's inside. Nothing really. We can use it as a backpack. There are lights. Pink and yellow glow stick. 
if we break those we can have some lights finally i don't really need the flashes and handicuffs I there is no one here to use the handicuffs on so i'll use the slot for lights so there are more bags here more bags here uh some box of replacement lights cleaner a crowbar always handy to open some fire locks mod link scryer I guess it's a radio thing. We don't really have anyone here, so there's no point in taking those. It seems like we're on some broken station. As the crew report probably says, let me check it. So it says that the catastrophic damage sustained to station power net exhaust to reawaken the crew. And we have our objectives. Activate emergency power generator, lift station lockdown on the bridge and locate the damage report on the bridge for a detailed station situation report. Let's do this. Let's find the generator then. So it seems like there is no power. So we can either break the window or use crowbar to open the unpowered doors. Motor oil. I would sleep on that if we had gravity, but we are weightless. So I'm flying just above the motor oil. There is a laundry with some washing machines, linen bin and a pressure tank. It seems like he, it has a plenty of air, but uh, yeah, there is no pressure here. I, I need to check whether the pressure uh, preserves, but we don't have any power right now to start using this pump to fill up the pressure in the pipe net. But we'll take a look at that later. Now there is a backup generator room, so it seems like it is the generator that we were looking for. Winch down the generator on the top of a wire node connected to either SMAS unit uh, and or, or the power grid. Okay, and there are some insulated gloves which are a must when you work with the electricity. So there's a cable call and a power generator. Let's, let's take a look at it. So we need to move it to this node and wrench it down, as the paper was saying. It doesn't have any fuel right now, so yep, there is the fuel, the uranium sheets. We load them up and we can enable it. It starts giving us 15 kilowatts, we can increase it up to 60. And just need to make sure that the battery that is this backup power storage unit can accept this. I will crank the input up so it will take all the entire uh, available voltage wattage I'd say and start charging the batteries right it goes on now it starts powering this APC we will take a look at the APCs and how they work a bit later but I've added a cable to make sure that it's connected to the rest of the station right let's go then check what else we have here now that the power is here then we need to lift the locks lock down on the station on the bridge now here is a dining area and we have some kitchen so I could grab a bite uh, because I see that we don't see the status about the well fed but it makes sense we have been in the cryopod for a long time some basic eggs I can use them to make some fried eggs I guess so let's let's dump them onto a the table and open our cooking menu. I immediately see that it suggests me to use either microwave oven to make a boiled egg or a fried egg on a griddle. So let's turn on the griddle and break some eggs. It will be our breakfast. Now, every food has a type of food. You can see that there's a smiley face next to the fried it means that my species are liking it. So if I open the character preferences and species on the human, we see that human like fried food. So that's why I will get a bonus to the reaction when I eat the food. And also the fried egg is considered a breakfast. And at the start of the shift, you get a quite substantial boost to your mood if you eat a breakfast so let's try it out 
Now we can see a smiley face here. It says that we like the breakfast at the start of the shoot because it's a breakfast type food. Yep, it says here that it is a breakfast. And we also say that the food was good. It seemed like we liked it because it was a fried egg. We also got some handcrafted meal bonus that makes us feel better. All right, let's fill this up with the rest of the eggs to make sure that they don't go to waste. And I can already see that we have an empty egg box. We can probably repurpose it for something useful uh, because we don't have any belts and a box for small items would be handy. I can use it in my hand to make a cardboard and from one sheet of cardboard I can make some stuff, but I am interested in box. So we can place the cable coil there and some other small items also. Nothing else really needed here. I could grab a knife, but for now I don't see any threats, so let's leave it here. Now this is hydroponics. We have some seeds here, nothing else in the seed structure. So yep, and I don't see the seed vendor either. So probably it makes sense to fill up the soil that we have here with nutrients. It has 10 out of 15 nutrients. I will top it up to have the full nutrient capacity, 15 out of 15. That's because it seems like we don't have much uh, seeds here. So the soil will start spawning weeds and mushrooms and everything will be useful in our circumstances. And it seems like the power generator is already out, not enough. Uh, for anything but the environment, but uh, air looks should be working because their environment, uh, the only thing that are down are the lighting and equipment because there's barely any charge left. Right, let's take a look at it a bit later. What else do we have here? So there are some blessed doors with build, probably something engineering related. And now the blessed door, maintenance with a pair of gloves. We already have an insulated gloves, not sure. Why would we need another set? It's it said that it's fireproof, but whatever. Let's leave them here for now. A burnt flare, some fire equipment, and glass. Glass is always handy. Let's take the materials with us. All right, seems like this is the bridge. Should should be able to find the lockdown here. There's a button, right, it works. And we also have binoculars. We can check our bearings to see what's there around the station. There's some external glass airlock and some rock here, but nothing else. We can put these binoculars to our neck to use it later. And there's some note. It says damage report, shields down, space carp invasion imminent. Unknown force, overtaken AI satellite and occupying Delta station. Intent unknown, species unknown, numbers unknown. Right, that's troublesome. Status, Alpha station, destroyed. Beta station, catastrophic damage, medical destroyed, atmospherics and engine core partially destroyed. Charlie station, multiple asteroid impacts, no loss in air pressure. That's the station that we're currently on because we have the Charlie station security officer ID. And probably this is the Charlie station. And it says also that the Delta station intact. It's the place where the species that are unknown are situated right now. And the AI, I guess, recommends are some actions. Like eight arms at Charlie station security. We'll do this right now. Because the carps may be scary. Move at sufficient distance from the window to avoid encounters with escape space carp. Space carps can teleport inside uh, the station throughout through the window, so that's why we need to take care of them once they do this. Reestablish station power net via Charlie Station Engineering Solar Array. Restore life support systems, atmospheric, artificial gravity, hydroponics, and avoid data station until arrival of Nanotrace and Special Response Team. All right, let's take this note with us. We'll probably refer to it. Also, there is a pen. We can write down something with this pen, but I will just put it on to, under my ear 
to use it later. And there's also a folder that we can use to store our papers. Right, the next one is to find a gun and I guess to establish the power net. So we are looking for engineering and a solar array. So there is more modeling square, some Zippo lighter, I'll leave it here for now, a megaphone, and nothing really useful. We can use this iron cone later for something. And the trash has regular trash. All right, let's move. There, there's a restroom. Nothing interesting. This is the Delta station access. So it seems like there's some wreckage going on. Don't want to see any carps for now. All right, so this must be security. There's a charging station, some space low book, pen, blank paper. Yep. Space column. Could get a sip. Oh, there's a gun. Now, I cannot shoot it because my fingers are too big when we use the insulated gloves. So I will take the gloves off for now and keep them here in case if we need to work with electricity. There's also a helmet, but it obscures vision, so I will not use it for now. And there is another gun. We can use it as a backup later. There's also some chips we will like, but we just tried a food, so won't eat it for now. And there is a moldy pizza in the trash bin. All right, let's move on. Take a look at the next door that is also data station access. It seems like this one is intact and it's working. Let's use binoculars to take a look at what's there. Oh, there's a space car. We need to be careful to avoid that for now. Now this maintenance has some engineering crates. Oh, these are assemblies for the solar panels. If we need them, not sure yet. And some other things. So there is a cable coil, insulated gloves that are worse than ours because these are worn out when we have a normal ones. Some electronics for uh, equipment in the room, but also I can see that there is a, a tracker electronics that we will need for the solar. So let's pick it up and store it in our handy box. And also another cable coil. Cable is always useful. You can do various stuff out of it. You can make restraints and to use it for crafting. So it's a material similar to the glass. So it will be useful. Nothing else really needed here for now. Right. Uh, so there was this air part. Uh, now I can see that there is a air alarm working. We can see the status that the oxygen is in, no, in the normal range, the nitrogen is in the normal range, and we can check that the pipe in, on the station is empty right now. So let's try to put some air into this pipe by turning on this pump and see how the pressure is rising. Now let me turn the pipe off for now and see if the pressure is maintained. So yeah, it's, it says that the pressure is the same. It means that there is no air breach. It doesn't vent the air out to any room that is exposed to the space. So I will put this gas pump on to make sure that our station uh, has the air fill, filling the rooms in case if we will need it somewhere. Now this linen bin, it gives us bed sheets. We'll be able to use it later to make some cloth. Nothing on the notice board, All right? So, now we need our engineering. It's probably here. Yep. And it seems like it has a broken solar array that we will have to work on in the next episode.